Hello, Monster Man, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, and part 10 of my Kazrak the Wobbleye campaign, where last time, well, we took Castle Bastogne and then lost Castle Bastogne to some nameless goon, but don't worry, we've got it back, and we're going to protect it properly this time. Uh, we're going to protect this one as well while we get the buildings up to defend it, because we are surrounded by it. It's like a circle of enemies around us, and I think that's because that's probably our range. Yeah, they're, they're literally just outside of range where we could actually attack them uh, because they don't want us to attack them. But So we're going to wait until the garrison's built up and uh, then we will go out and start doing some stuff. Turkey Smasher, he's, he's the best boy and uh, I love him now. And this is why I want the little save button so I can save. I can save Dunkirk the Turkey Smasher because what a guy. He just punches turkeys to death and that's something I can get behind. Hello, Throg. A defensive alliance. Um, nah, because I might want to kill you at some point. I don't know. Bit, I just don't think it's gonna do me any good to be. So I'm just. I'm look. We're just. In, we're just in different places, aren't we? You know, professionally, personally, that kind of thing. A strange incident. Okay, so I'm hoping that Montfort will get built back up. In the meantime, let's go and hit Karak Zifflin, because it's there. Uh, let's loot and raise. We will head in this direction. Yep, good, good. Bid. Yep, collecting bids. It's, uh, it's a hobby, not one that I would personally partake in, but um, that's fine. Let's now. Where is our? Is it freakish mutations, chaos spawn, more weapon strength? Yes, yes. Okay, garrison. Looking better. Not healing though, which is a little bit of a concern. Uh, we could get the gorgon's lair. Let's get the hello, hello boys. See, this one's already fairly healthy. And this one is not. Which is a little bit concerning. Maybe it's because we've got play. I know it shouldn't affect us, but I'm wondering if it is. I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's not it's not quite what it should be, is it? Never mind. We will persevere. Uh, let's go on natural thirst. And the garrison here should be fine. Probably next turn. Get called to more slev there. I mean, we could always just recruit another army to garrison it for us, couldn't we? Like, we could get this guy. And... We could just give him a bunch of shit units to sort of keep an eye on things. Let's get that one. Get something like that. More melee defense for them. Uh, what did we have? What? What's better? What? Harpies? Har where's Harpies? Beast Lord's Lash. There we go. Charge bonus. I mean... Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. You can be immortal. I'm tempted to go out on... Now, we're not actually at war with Muslon at the moment. So what I could do is actually hit Gisero here. These guys have resettled this. Which means you're pretty, pretty fucked ready. But... We could hit Gisero. Because I feel like you're probably fine for the moment. Kit wow, you take a... Things which don't have armor take a shit ton of damage, don't they? Like, the Minotaurs without armor just take ridiculous amounts of damage in order to resolve. Uh, let's go Fueled by Blood, because that way you get more speed. The Minotaurs are faster, because, I mean, they now have a speed of 69, which, of course, is the sexiest amount of speed to have. If you are also speed sex, six, 69, 69 then, um, nice. Midland's dead? Oh, good. Didn't even have to, didn't have to lift a finger. Looks like Throg did it for me. Thanks, Throg. 
What a guy. What a pal. What a friend. Now, let me guess. The garrison is not replenishing. It is definitely not replenishing. No. Well, that's... That's a bit shit, isn't it? That's a bit... It's a bit of a shitter. Okay, you. You can have them. For no particular reason. You can have them. I mean, I don't know what happens when... When we hit... Dude, what's it? Okay, if we do that, that's probably good enough to hold that army off, which means we can mostly just ignore the rest and just continue. Although, why that garrison isn't replenishing, I don't know. I have noticed that before. There's some garrisons which just don't replenish for whatever reason. It's a bit weird. Never mind. Let's take the monies. Uh, is Castle Artois one of... Yes, a big 12. Look at that. We obviously we're going to take the big 12. Obviously. Just makes sense. Not even a big garrison there. <sighs> okay, well, loot and raise. That'll give us plenty of money to be getting on with. What did we get? A jagged dagger. Improved recharge rate. Which is very pleasant. Dunker, I'm just going to make you the, the biggest, tankiest boy. I want you to punch people to death and enjoy doing it. Uh, what do you actually have? That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. That's not as good. I could give you the potion of toughness. That way you could really kind of like really punch people in the face. You know, re like really punch people in the face. Okay, you are meandering around with no friends. Johnny no mates. Now you're dead. I mean, you did have friends, but I've killed them all too. And the garrison, right, the garrison here, is, that's, yeah, that's looking much better, isn't it? That's looking more, it's looking more like it. I am going to, if we have a look at the old, okay, so that's a four there. Got an eight, ten. That says four, which I suggest means a Skaven there. So I guess let's hit Eason first, because it's because it's closest. That's the only reason. I mean, it's going to really annoy Dryker, but then she's a fairly angry bush anyway. She doesn't really. There's no, you know, realistically, it's not not leaving it alone isn't going to improve her mood. She's always pretty shitty. Leadership aura size, I don't really care about. Uh, I could let's get Savage Beasts. I think that's what we'll do. You, of course, are going to have wounds, because there's nothing else I can give you. And then Rodiger is going to have missile resistance. And we're going to hit Griffin Woods, start building that up. That's obviously fine. The garrison there is a bit garbage, but it'll be fine. We upgrade these. Hopefully at some point... Was it the plague? If they Right, so you guys have got 800 health. If you get more health afterwards, then it's... To, maybe it's if the settlement has a plague to start off with and then you settle it. Something like that? I genuinely don't know. But I've definitely seen it before, and not just with Beastmen. I've, I've had it before with Dark Elves and stuff. Maybe it could, be, it could be one of the mods I'm running, to be honest. I'm running a lot of mods at the moment just to try and shake up the game to make it a little bit more. I probably should have got rid of them, but the problem is, once I've got lots of mods, and if I've got like a Patreon campaign going, then having to turn off the mods and turn them back is... Because there's not like play sets like you have in Paradox games. They've kind of got play sets of mods, so you can like set mods up and then switch between the play sets, and it will turn them on and off, depending on which play set you want, which is really useful. Obviously, with, with Total War, you just have the... You have to turn them on, and I can't really bother to remember which ones I'm running, so... Um, it'd just be, just be annoying. Endless Herds? Eh, no matter. Uh, more cam yeah, more campaign movement range. Okay, I think we're fine. So we need Grung Zints. Uh, and Musalon. 
So I'll come down and do Mousselon. Uh Montfort has got a nice big four there now. So we can go down and torch that. Fort Bergbras. There's another one, so we can do that one. That's good. Could you, like, could you... Asking for a friend. Could you effectively, like, farm? Like, if... if if you just went around like like if you found a big blood ground like this one and you just went around like burning stuff down and waiting for them to rebuild it effectively at some point like how much how much devastation could you get like what is you know could you just keep doing that effectively until you you could you could win the game in one move oh artois is dead to be honest i didn't even <laughs> I didn't even realise I only had one settlement left. Uh, sometimes you're, you're really struggling to wipe factions out, and they're just being really resilient, and other times they just die and you don't even realise. It's like, oh, oh, you're, you're dead. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. Fair enough. No, not yet. We've got 52 marks. I need more marks. You need to settle down there. We'll hit Montfort. That's fine. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need Grung Zint as well, don't we? It does mean getting past Marienburg, though. Which shouldn't be difficult, but the Wild Heart probably doesn't really have a chance to do that. Still, we'll upgrade that, and that's looking better. Meanwhile, let's kill Griffin Woods. What do you got? Oh my god, that's a shit ton of elves. Ugh, I hate elves. What else suck? Oh, they suck so much. Luckily, this doesn't include many missile units, so that's a bit of a win. Oh, yes. Get run over, you dicks. Hello. That's Mr. Beast to you, anyway. They do have a lot of treekin, these malevolent treekin. I quite like Dry as a faction, actually, because uh, she's got good doggos. Really good doggos. So chariots are slowly mulching their way through these wildwood rangers. Quite nasty infantry. Yeah, you can see these deepwood scouts currently trying to pick us off, and I'm like, nope. Not today, Satan. Having the chariots is quite nice, because it does mean we can basically just run them down. Disagree. Tasting it already. Ah, uh, yes! And of course, the best of all is going to make fairly short work of, of pretty much everything. Hello, my buckos! Ooh. Fortunately, you won't have to forgive because you'll all be dead. I actually feel a bit bad about what. I, I like Triker as a faction. She's not a wood elf. She's like sort of almost an anti wood elf. She hates wood elves, and so do I. Something we have in common. God, I hate wood elves. They just suck so much. Just rule available! Hooray! Got my nice 18 points. Look at that. And perfect figure, because we're away from home. I mean, technically, we never. Jeez, 606 points. That's a lot of points. It's probably too many. Um, I could get Deadly Onslaught. It does give 40% charge bonus. Oh, I'm going to do it. Because a 40% charge bonus on top of 178 charge is. Um, it's a lot. That's quite a lot. It's a fair, it's a fair chunk, isn't it? Think about it. I believe. Um, let's go bloodlust. Why not? All right, everyone happy there? Good. You can be thick skins. And what else do we have to torch? So that's all done. 
Aquitaine. Right, we'll head towards Aquitaine. The, the undead are beefing that up. We're about to declare war on them anyway, because Dunkirk's heading straight for... Yeah, that prick. Hammer of all. Oh, good. Hockland's dead. Well, oh, tick off another one. I mean, someone's helping me out. Someone loves me. It probably doesn't help they're all riddled with plague and corruption and God knows what else, but still. Looks like Talabetland are hiding around Krugenheim, so I'm going to go and see if I can say hello. When I say hello, obviously I mean brutally murder the fucking loss of them. I thought that was implied. Just in case it wasn't. And apparently no one's home at Busson. Oh, shame. Have they all gone to Bordelow? Should we go to Bordelow to say hello? My Manfred and Mullabard are there. And no one else. Can you read? Oh, you can read. Okay, in that case, yes, declare war. Oh, you maybe can't reach. Fair enough. No, it's all right. Malagor can reach. He can. He can go. He can go really far. Yeah, you've got a lot of boys, but uh, I've got Malagor. I was looking at the wrong guy. It's this. It's this guy. This might actually be a tough fight. I mean, maybe, maybe. Already the wall's down, and apparently there's no music in this battle. Don't know why. Is it siege battles, maybe? Foul yeah, that, that is, that's us. Getting a lovely bit of shades in the center there. There's, there's quite a few units of uh, cairn wraiths and various other bits and pieces, skeleton warriors, and they're getting massively sucked off. That was, uh, that was pretty, pretty 171 kills on that. Not bad. The Harpies are also getting in the way of all of these enemy missile units, keeping them occupied. Doing quite a lot of damage there to those uh, poor peasant boys. And we're dropping Flock of Doom right on the... I mean, these, these Cairn Wraiths are just... They got wrecked so quickly. Of course, Malagor, when he he's melee attacking, he casts like a, a version of Flock of Doom around him as well, which is quite nice. So we want him to be in melee combat sort of as much as possible. And it's quite dicey because he doesn't have much armor or melee defense. Um, so sending him to like a big blob like this is probably not a, a very good idea. But uh, it's, it's quite effective because it does, say, just drop Flock of Doom directly on everyone's heads. Which is quite nice. Plus we can summon in a lot of Cygles. We're summoning in three Cygles. It's uh, Malagor's party trick. They are going to get intercepted. But I kind of figured that would be the case. The gates are down. Hurrah. And the Harpies now coming down to join the party. Malagor's already taking a little bit of damage there. But that flock of doom is just all just all over them. Wailing Hags taking quite a lot of damage. Because, of course, it is magical damage. Uh, yeah, that seems to be fine. The spawn trying to break through. There is a lot of enemy cavalry. Blood Knights and... Uh, Knights of the Black Grail, who are very tanky boys. There's Kevin Von Lloyd Steen over there. Now, this is problematic. I've sent Malagor in here for no particular reason. And uh, he's now getting a little bit surrounded, which is not good. He does have these grey men attacking him. And so th this is not a good position for Malagor to be in, surrounded by quite nasty melee infantry. We're going to need to get him out of there. He is, though, doing a lot of damage to everyone around him, which is nice. The Harpies just doing a lot of damage, just in general. Just like flapping around, getting a lot of shit done. Where is... Where's old Stonehorn? He's in here somewhere. He's hanging around. There he is. There he is. And he's sucking off... He's, he's helping out Malagor by sucking off all these Grey Men. And also the, the Blood Knights as well. They're quite tightly clustered around Malagor trying to get him. And that is, that's given Malagor an out. Malagor's getting away. He's going he's gonna to go airborne. There he goes. He's out of there. Not much health left, though. Um, just over a, just over 1,000 health remaining. 
Still dropping those flocks of doom all over the place, though. It's uh, it's pretty effective, but there's a lot of dead blood knights littering the ground. These chaos spawn are anti-infantry, realistically, but the blood knights, yeah, they, they still have just a lot of weapon strength. Chaos spawn 175 weapon strength, which means they do have 54 armor piercing damage. The blood knights do have 110, but that still means that we're going to still be doing quite a lot of damage to them. Regardless, even if we're not true and true armor piercing. Cygols are starting to crumble away, but that's fine because it kept people occupied and got a few stones off at the same time. And Malagor's now land now. Unfortunately, Kevin's down here as well. And Kevin is currently kicking the shit out of Malagor. And uh, we need to get Malagor out of there because he's only got 500 hit points left. Fortunately, it, oh look, Padufa the Rat Eater intercepts Kevin and allows Malagor to get away just barely. In come some Black Rail Knights. These guys are super tanky. You thought the Blood Knights were bad. These guys... These guys are absolute monsters. They they, they do a lot of damage. And it will soak a lot of damage up in return. They also have perfect vigor. Which means they are very difficult to uh, to wear down in melee combat. However, it's, it's looking... It's, it's okay. We've got a little bit of shades over here. This is doing some good sucking sucking off. Some, more, some more Black Grail Knights but they've got 104 kills. They've done a lot of damage. More flocks of doom. And of course we have uh, the Blood Brute Behemoth as well. Who... Is he anti-large? He is anti-large. So he's an anti-large boy. So he's, he's been quite good against these knights. He hasn't actually done much damage, but I think it took him a while to actually get into the city because he's a, you know, big boy. Didn't fit through the gate. There's our Jabba Slyther as well. The, the, Vorb, the, the Broodmother. She got left behind. But it looks like the last of the enemy units are slowly... Fought. There we go. Mass route. Crumbling away. Enemy Lord dead. Screw you, Manfred. I mean... To be fair to the Harpies, 205 kills. That's pretty legit. Plus, Malag I mean, Malagor did almost die, but he did kill almost 5,000. Got da almost a damage value of 5,000. Uh, mind you, all the Rock the Stonehorn got 5,700. So, I mean, you know, there's there's things happening there. I'm going to raise advance because I think I need the uh, the health points. The old replenishment. And maybe to get over to uh, old Dunkirk, because... Ooh, challenge the Dark God completion rate. That's good. Might need some some pick-me-ups. You know what? I'm going to get rid of all of these guys. Get the fuck out of my life. That's it. More harpies. There we go. I'm also tempted to get more Chaos Spawn. So, I do know that we have... Spawn Wrangler. Yes. Do you have... You don't... Right, okay. So, uh, we've got the... We've got the dreads. Let's just... Well, let's get that first. And then we'll get some more Chaos Spawn. Can't go wrong with more Chaos Spawn. They're tanky boys. We've got nine. Good. Okay, well, in that case, I guess more harpies then. We'll just do that. Uh, let's get fueled by... No, freakish mutation. So we've got the Chaos Spawn, get a little bit more melee attack. We've got 52 and 178 weapon strength. What, what good lads. I do like things with shit tons of weapon strength and melee attack. So, that looks fine. Good. Uh, what else do we need to torch around here? Right, we need to do Grung Zint, don't we? How are you doing? You need to heal up a little bit. Right, well, we'll hit... hit hello. Of course. Uh-huh. Um, right, well, we'll hit Aquitaine and Musalon. Destroy those. And then we also need we need to grung zint. And if they resettle it anything in the meantime, I mean they've taken carrot and ziflin, that's currently a zero, but could be worth doing later on. 
And also, Kazurak is heading in that direction, which is good. Missile resistance for those boys? Do I need that? Don't know. Um, you know what? It's Empire of Beasts, because then we can get physical resistance for our harpies. Are harpies actually going to be good? Asking the real questions here. Let's just get upgrades, everything, everywhere. Maybe this will fix my garrison in Par in not Paravon, in, Bar in Castle Bastone. Are you still not replenishing? Oh, there we go. You are now replenishing. Maybe it is to do with the plague? I don't know. Oh. Oh, as, long as, as long as it's fixed. Altdorf, you can be max level as well. Anything else? No bestial rage for Ragush. The ground shaker. Yeah, but he'll be alright. Don't worry about him. He's just defending it. He'll, he, we'll, we'll send him off with Padufu, the wild heart. It's not the rat eating one, he's the other one. Heinrich, where are you going, buddy? Are you running away from the elves? Um, can anyone reach you? Yes, because Malagor can reach anyone. So, okay, we've got, we've got 60 devastation. I'm, I'm interested to see whether like, bigger armies affect devastation more. Got the ambush. Let's give him the personal touch. Get them, lads! And ladies. And miscellaneous. I'm not sure what Chaos Spawn is. I don't think they're anything. I think they just are. And probably shouldn't be. Well, victory is already in our grasp. Uh, as let's be honest, the Skeleton Warriors here getting uh, completely destroyed. Nice to see they're like looking like Bretonians though, isn't it? That's good. I like that. I like that mod. It's good. And up the front, of course, we've got Krell. Where's Krell? He's right here. And Heinrich. There's Heinrich, who is weirdly super resilient. I, I I would say it's his cloak, but his cloak doesn't last forever, does it? Does it? Does it give him 60% resistance? Because, I mean, he's, a, he's, he's refusing to take any damage. Wherever he is. There he is. Does that last forever? It can't last forever, can it? Can it? What I like is you can... Heinrich. There you go. Uh, power stone. No, it, I'm, I'm sure he's... That won't last for... Good. I think it's gone. Good. Right. Okay. Well, Heinrich's going to get his ass kicked. Krell can't save him. I mean, it's a little bit of a... Of a pile on, but... Uh, Heinrich does smell of wee, so he probably deserves to die. Although he's 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 still he's still tanking it, isn't he? Good grief, Heinrich! What the hell are you doing? How are you not taking any damage? You're absolute madman! Now reinforcements have turned up, but to be honest, I don't think they're going to make it to the battle. Uh, the vast majority of the enemy army is dead. There's just a handful of peasant bowmen, and uh, no, that's it. That's basically it. oh yeah, and some units that are slowly dying over here. The grey men, uh, yeah, they're, they're quite tanky. But, I mean, considering how quickly I annihilated the rest of the army, I'm surprised that they're not crumbling yet. They're, they're really, they, they really are just holding on. I mean, what? 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 I, why aren't you dying? You've only got five armor. Someone, can someone please execute him? Please, use your tongue. Use your tongue on him. Yeah, good. Okay, well, I'm, I'm hopefully he'll eventually die or give up. One of the two. Okay, let's see how many ruin marks of ruination we get. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know, kill. Sure. Two. We got two. Get more for more, or is it just always two? Like, if I kill these guys, is it four? Hmm. Maybe it's just two for each battle. Oh, magic resistance. If it's just that, that seems fine. Now, Mr. Mullabood, where are you running off to? 
Let's go and resolve that one. It's just, just two each time. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. Uh, right, let's head in this direction because we want to torch Musalon. I, I don't really care about Leonessi. I'll leave that one alone. That will be fine. You now have 99 melee attack and 758 weapon strength, which is an absolutely sane amount for you to have. Fairly sure you could punch a bloodthirster to death. And I would like to see that. Uh, Beast Lord's Lash should be good for our Harpy. Mind you, that's, I mean, their melee attack's already pretty good. No, no, their melee attack's actually really bad. I thought their melee attack was good. It's not. Their weapon strength is good. Their weapon strength is ridiculous, actually. Like, ludicrous amounts of weapon strength. For little Harpies, their melee attack could be better. So beef up their melee attack, then uh, they'll be pretty good in a straight-up fight. Aquitaine is currently worth eight points. So let's go and torch that. You can all heal up, which is good. I'm going to hop over to... Oh, yep, yeah, that was... Yeah, if anyone had been at Marienburg, that could have been risky. But uh, he's absolutely fine, so that's, that's good. That's good. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you guys doing? You guys do not look like you're doing particularly well. You're riddled with plague. I'm just... You know what? I'm just going to attack Krugenheim. Because then I can get everyone to join in at the same time. Kill three birds with one stone. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.